Behind this chain-linked fence, progress finally is underway at Tano's Bistro in Loveland. In the last couple of months, it's been nothing but a hurry up and wait, insurance, fire investigations. Fire ripped through this popular restaurant three months ago. The flames totaled Tano's and several other businesses and apartments, devastating this tight-knit community. Now uh, our engineers, our architects have gone in, they're our design team. We've identified the good quality structure and we were looking at how we can put it back together again. Tano's will reopen with a rooftop bar. They even tested out the views already using a drone. He's also drawn up plans for a banquet room on the second floor. Just next door, a New Orleans style two story bar with another rooftop patio and a bakery and coffee shop will soon fill these charred buildings. I think it's great. I think the more that we can offer downtown, the more people that will come in and see what a great place the Loveland is. Rebuilding plans also include new bed and breakfast units on the second floor, giving people who travel this Loveland trail a place to stay. There's so much stuff going on down here that that's, it's a welcome addition by all means. You want more things going on. Cincy Fashion Wheels will return as well, hoping to reopen by December. We're thrilled. We can't wait to be back. We loved being down here, seeing all the people around, especially on the great weather days. People in Loveland now anxious to see the new developments. That's smart. I like that. We live just two miles away and walk down a lot, especially in the summer and fall. So we will definitely be down here a lot more. In Loveland, Amanda Kelly, WLWT News 5. So the